and welcome to another episode of Among the Stars Celebrity Perfume Review. So, today I'm extremely happy to be bringing you guys another video that I've, I've done one of these before, and you guys seem to really enjoy it, and I figured that I would just do another one, and I kind of started unboxing this one already, but today I'm doing an unboxing, and this is for the Al Haramain fragrances. I probably completely butchered that, I'm so sorry, but... I pulled it out of the packaging, and I wanted to show you guys the box before I get too much farther into this. Because this is the box that it was sent to me in. Can everybody ship perfume like this, please? If this was how everybody shipped perfume, my collection would not have damaged boxes. Okay, people? Thank you. So this is what the package looks like. This has got just bubble wrap on it right now, which I figured I'd leave on here. But I'm going to pull this off. They sent me, so they emailed me and asked me if they could send me a bottle. Um, and if I would do a video on it, I said, sure, why not? Because I, I always like getting fragrances and I like getting exposed to fragrances that I may never have heard of. And I know this brand, like I've never actually have heard of this brand ever. Um... But when I was doing a little bit of research, I know they're from Dubai, uh, which, I mean, the fact that this came all the way from Dubai is pretty cool to me, and I'm going to struggle to get this opened. Um, but they kind of had me ask if they wanted to send me this. I'm not making any money off of this video. Um, I will link their website down below just so you guys can have that. But um, they asked me if they could send me this, and then they gave me a fact sheet of what they sent me. But I'm not even going to look at the fact sheet because I want to be more surprised and see if I actually like this, if I don't like this. But who knows, because I don't. I've never heard of this, so... I mean, they have this bubble wrap pretty good. I am deeply impressed. Okay, if I can get this off of here. Okay, so this is what the packaging looks like. Super cute with this little ribbon on it. Ow! Ow! Just dropped a bottle on my foot. Okay, um, so package looks like this, and it's got this cute little ribbon on it, so let's just pull the ribbon off. And this says um, El Hermain on it. Harmain, however you say that. I'm completely butchering that. I'm so sorry. Um, but then it's got wrapping paper on it, which, hello, this is adorable. Um, let me just unwrap this. Can I just rip it off like this? Oh my god. Are you serious? Holy God. Packaging goals. First off, look at this. Um, I don't know if this is a male or female fragrance. This is just says it's uh, Al Harlemain since 1970. Harlemain Amber Ode Gold Edition. Um, rapid wrapping to all hell, and I love it. Um, it doesn't say what it is on it. But first off, packaging. Look at this. Ready? Oh, oh. First off, this is like an actual, like, nice box. Like, A plus on packaging. But this is what the bottle looks like. So this is like velvety soft on the inside. This is really nice packaging. Like, you guys know I'm a packaging sucker. This has got, like, metal brackets on it, hinges. And, like, this is metal, too. Like... This is A-plus packaging, like, A-plus, guys, good job. Um, this is what the bottle looks like, and it says Haramain Amber Ode Gold Edition on there, and then let's just grab a tester and see what this smells like. So, let's see, ooh, if it, can, I, can I spray? Can I, hello? 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 Do you not want to look directly into this? Because my luck, I'm going to, like, hit this and it's going to spray. Ooh. Ooh. What is this? First off, holy crap, again, this lid is super heavy, but I'm really interested. There's a sweet note in this. It's got, like, caramel or something. It's got, like, a really sweet edge to it. But it's kind of masculine, but also kind of feminine. Like, I really cannot tell if this is supposed to be marketed toward female or male. Um, 
I mean, obviously, like, I know that I review female fragrances, but being as a male, um, sometimes when people have contacted me about doing stuff, I do get asked about male fragrances, um, and I do generally to go toward the female fragrances, so I don't know if this is a female or male fragrance, but it is very... I will say I'm very surprised. I was thinking it was going to be a whole lot heavier and a whole lot spicier than it is. It does have a masculine edge to it, or a unisex vibe, but it's kind of sweet and warm. So definitely like caramel and amber, and it's got like this like effervescent -y, like bubbliness to it as well. So it's also like so it's warm and dark and like sweet, but it's also got this really nice bubbly edge to it. I'm really really impressed with this, honestly. I really, really like this, and this packaging is seriously amazing. So, like I said, I will link them down below. Um, I don't really know a whole lot about them, I'm sorry. But, uh, this just packaging, seriously, you guys, is amazing. Not even kidding. Um, so like I said, I'll link them down below. You guys can check out their website. Um, I'll put a link directly to this one uh, in particular down below. So, like I said, I don't make any money off the link. It's just kind of like an informational link for you guys. So, thank you guys so, so much for watching. As always, guys, follow me on Twitter, a that's Perfume, and Instagram, on the Stars Perfume. Links are in the description below. As always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Bye.